Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and just calories in general. So today, the plan is we have got a huge athlete shoot coming up on Saturday. So we've so much items to get through. Uh, I think it's one of their biggest launches yet. Uh, so we've recruited a few other athlete athletes, as you've seen. They've been on the channel before, I'm pretty sure. But now, first things first, we're really hungry. So we want to go get something to eat. And then we're going to meet up with a good friend of mine, Evan Doherty. He's also one of the best photographers in Dublin. So today's going to be a fun day. The weather there's absolutely perfect for shooting. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Rob Lipset, man of the people, taking the on, taking the Your trash out. Boss takes the bin out. You know, I'm a, do it all. The bar like Soho or the food spots around Raw Gym in town are bang on. Workout, food afterwards, great day. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's actually, no, it's good. I think we're not eating because we just don't want to be obese for the shoot. But the lads are eating, so what should you get then? Got the avocado and poached eggs, ultimate basic bitch mode. And, uh, you know, perfect for an Insta story. And um, it's not gonna fill us up too much either. Like, it's not gonna be a big carb dish that's gonna have us looking like a bunch of bloated animals for this shoot. So yeah, it's like breakfast and... Exactly, yeah, true, dogs. But, uh, so yeah, we're gonna eat this now and then we are starting the shoot at about one, so about 40 minutes, so perfect. Get a no leaf in there, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, so we met the crew, we got some food in, and now I'm not working out properly, I'm just doing a sneaky little arm pump, so I look decent for all these photos. And then the photographer, Evan, is gonna be here in five minutes. Um, so Evan actually just did the shoot for Conor McGregor's proper 12 whiskey. So we're, we're working with the best. I think I'm gonna come out with a tequila company called Proper Six. Right, is, that's where I'm from. But yeah, maybe, maybe not as cool, but uh, we'll see how we get on with it. This is the next location. It's kind of just like an office area, so it's really kind of clean looking. It's white, and that is a theme of the Alfley page. So we've got to keep that in mind. There's some also nice walls over there as well. But so this is the next look. This is the cutoff tank, and I didn't even know the details that they've got going down on this side. And then it's kind of like distressed around the edges there and up here too. So it's kind of got that like athletic look combined with a bit of fashion. So I absolutely love this. This is a size medium. I take a medium in all the tops. And then you can see I wear the bottoms pretty skin tight. I could go for a medium in the bottoms if these are small. Maybe I should stop skipping leg day. Anyways, we're gonna go shoot at uh, this look now and then we'll check in with you in a bit. Victoria, can you turn your boobs towards me a little bit more? So a little bit of a secret weapon when it comes to photo shoots here and uh, obviously it's great for a workout but uh, it's a ghost pump product one of my favorite products uh, so i'm just going to take a little bit of that i already put it in there just gonna add some water and so i'm pretty sure i think i saw christian take this before he steps on stage and then i always do this when i know i've got a big photo shoot so again the discount code i'll put up on the screen uh, for the us side and there's also a uk side too that is a little plug that takes up the fraction of the video, so please stick with me on that one. And yeah, let's get back to killing it. Oh, how was that? Mate, try some. What Here. flavor is it? Try some. You're now in the in the vlog. Wow. Here you go. Use me this guy code. <laughs> Don't use Christians. Don't use Max's. Use mine. What does Wiki Tan get you? I guess you pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Her story, you know, she was drinking pickle juice, and I'm just like, when's the discount code coming I'm for legit, the I'm really see my own VCAs with ghosts. Yeah. Pickle, pickle juice. Pickle, pickle flavor. juice flavor, yeah. You'll sell one tub, and they'll be to yourself. Got booted 
today at the last location. The security guard came along and like, he was really looking for an argument. And here's a tip for you, right? Someone comes up to you and they're straight up looking for conflict, okay? Before you, you give your side, agree with them. Be super polite, kill them with kindness. And it's actually very funny, because he was like, it's unsafe to be here. This is private property. And we're like, you're dead right. Thanks for the heads up, we'll move on now. And he was like, it was hilarious. So anyways, we got plenty of shots there. So we're all good. And now uh, I think we're going to Evan's studio. So yeah, so it goes around when we get there. Sit down, mate. What a studio. Comes complete with three dogs. And they couldn't be more different. <laughs> Photo shoot is done, and you probably think I'd be sick of donuts by now, but that's not the case. It is a beautiful day, good people, good productive day as well. Weather's beautiful, so I have earned this donut, and that's what I'll tell myself anyways. So we're just like chilling out in mine. We had a really good productive day, good times, and now we're waiting for dinner, which we will be going to soon, don't worry. Yeah, know, but everyone's everyone's like, hungry. Yeah, everyone's hungry, so we're just like, we just broke out the, the camera, we started just doing a Q&A, and just having a good chat. So I'm gonna ask Caroline a couple questions. You guys, hundreds there, I just put it on my Instagram story. Uh, so we're just gonna go through them and just pick out some good ones. Okay, so right. How often do you go out drinking? Okay, hey, well, things have changed recently. So I used, to not to go out, I used to not go out really much at all. Like before college, I would go out like literally once a year. I used to never go out, but this yeah. summer I really let loose. I met new people and we went out a lot more together. We yeah. went on a lot more trips. It's all my fault. And I've been traveling and I kind of let, yeah, it's all Victoria's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Both. I kind of let my hair down a little bit this summer, so I'd say even like I was going out once a week at one stage, but I think I peel it back a little bit now. I'm trying to get my mojo back, yeah. so maybe like two or three times a month. That's I think that's good. And like I remember, I think it was me and Max were talking about how like not going out is unhealthy. Like, it really that's is. Bad. It really not is. Not leaving like, my hair down is the worst thing ever. Yeah. You're literally just going to unleash at some stage, which happened to me this summer. Yeah. I literally <laughs> just can't let my hair down. Off the rails. Yeah. Ideally, in terms of fitness, a place you want to be at is. You want to be getting results, you want to be healthy, you want to feel good, and you want to have a good social life and a good mental yeah. health as well. Like, So you need to tick all those boxes. It's not all just having massive yeah. biceps. Unless you know? you're a competitor, I think that's the only exception. Like, If you want to go on stage, then obviously alcohol wouldn't really come into the equation, yeah. especially towards the end. But Definitely if you're not competing, not. I don't see why you couldn't go out. Best part about being with Alfie. That, okay, that's an eye. That's a good one. Okay, well, with Alfie, it's really like a family. Yeah, it? it's like this, just this right now. Yeah. That's like a good example of it. You it's know? so chill, like with other companies that obviously influence, influences work with, it's very corporate and you can feel like a number rather than like part of a family. But with Alfie, I've only been with them a couple of months and Christian had us over this summer already. Yeah. And we all just get along so well. So it doesn't really seem like work at all. Yeah. We all get along it so it well. is just a different vibe to working with other companies. Like yeah. it's just like, it's just, it's how influencer marketing should be. Absolutely. Like it, it really is, yeah. So it's good fun. Right, right. Okay. It's you. Loud answer. Oh, you, you know what, Gary? You Gary. answer as well. Favorite position? Oh, doggy style. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Toddy. Yeah. Not zero Toddy. Yeah, zero talk with Yeah, yeah. There, there was zero hesitation. I feel like he wanted yeah. to say that word anyway. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dog style. <laughs> Today we put the sunroof open in the car. Victoria goes, "Honey, I'm a tits out." 
<laughs> We're so inappropriate. There was no reasoning. Yeah, no. yeah, okay, okay. Right. How come I wasn't asking you? No, come on, position? come on, you're up uh, in bed okay. with pizza. I like being on top. Okay, there you go. Juicy. Juicy, yeah. That this just, is fucking just, very juicy. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm sweating. Okay, right. I, I guess I have to answer this one because it's the most asked question. What's my current relationship status? So, Go for uh, it. Well, we know Karen's married. Single. Single. Very, as very they single. Come. Single as they come. Been single for nine months, I would say. Well done. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think I think I'll do the full year. Um, dating can be distracting, but sometimes I love like, how you have it scheduled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I flicked. I flicked through his calendar. I flicked through his calendar. It's literally like get a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like write out everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Obviously, you don't know when like, you'll meet click. someone. But for the moment, being single is perfect, and it just allows me to be selfish. Give myself. 100% and you know get the work done work hard obviously being in a relationship you spend less time dating and going out so maybe it's a little bit less time consuming on that front but being single you can obviously be a bit more selfish which sometimes in your life you have to go through phases when you do just give yourself 100% like double down so yeah answer your question I'm single next question was actually asked quite a bit so we're recruiting Gary in Sit down on that big bougie chair. Very pineapple. Yeah, what, what a boss. Like, what a boss. So, um, I think this is really interesting. You could do a full video on this. Does being in a relationship on social media, does social media put a strain on your relationship? Or does it cause pressure? I you think, I don't know, I think there is a certain amount of pressure put on the relationship because of obviously being in the public eye, it's not just girls looking at me. Yeah. There's going to be creepy guys too. And obviously, Gary, that's something we've had to deal with over time. And he's fine with it now, he knows, and yeah. what he is. But, I don't know, I don't think there's that much strain, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. I think Probably a compliment, really, for most. Yeah, I think it kind of brought us That's together, good. because we both work through social media, so we both help each other. Like, Gary does online coaching, so I promote him on my page, and I obviously need someone to record and take my pictures all the time. So, yeah. we're both always helping each other, so I think, if anything... It helps us work better together. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. that's a really good answer. Oh, goals, goals. <laughs> Me and yeah, Victoria so are just like. <laughs> it would be great to be with someone off social media, but then they don't understand your job. No, I that's know. another and thing. And it's kind of like you know, hey, we gotta, I gotta vlog, I gotta record. They you don't know, get we gotta it, take right? photos. Some people yeah. are like, and they'll probably just be like, you're so yeah. fucking it, narcissistic, exactly. like. Exactly. So it's stuff, like a catch but... twenty two in a way, yeah. but like I think all in all, it would probably make your life easier. If the person you're with understood. Absolutely. Job. I always tell Gary, like literally every day, if I didn't have him to help me get my content, I'd be lost. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like what's who that? Who gonna find here? It is so like, much easier. Yeah. Like two thousand pictures of me weekly and record me every yeah. day. Be like, Goodbye. <laughs> That's a full time job. Like it's like, like I say it to him all the time. It's like, it's like the hashtag boyfriends of Instagram. Literally you know? that was my story today of him holding the tinfoil thing. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, good topic. Best advice for starting out on YouTube. I think this is a good one to ask Caroline because you only started you know yeah. not too long ago like within the last year mm -hmm. so your channel like you get really solid views and everything so what would you say help that okay well to be honest I only dropped out of college literally last week to do this full time so I'm still kind of new to it myself as Rob said so I've been doing it now about eight or nine months and I think as soon as I started uploading more regularly anyway it definitely made a difference so yeah. I'm probably uploading once a week now which is even good for me because like the demand in college was just too much really yeah. to be honest but it's the same with Instagram like because my Instagram would be a lot bigger than my YouTube because it's just a lot more work gone into it but I think just being consistent with your content being particular with what you want to upload as well don't just take any picture and decide yeah that'll do and upload yeah be particular with what I will Posting upload into it. And, and again consistency if you stop posting People forget about you. Why, yeah. why, why wouldn't they? Nobody cares. You know, yeah, no, <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. I love that. So yeah, that's a brilliant one. And in terms of, like getting the word out, like you had a really strong Instagram following already, so you sent that over to YouTube. Yeah. Whereas when I first started, like I, I, I literally was just starting Bear Zero, Ground Zero, at a Facebook page. I literally got my friends to share it. Like I had a close group of like twenty friends, and I was like, lads. We, we share that so like the word of mouth isn't dead and like if you really want it to take off whatever it be YouTube Facebook Instagram if you sort of blog and you really do want to take it off you will ask your friends and you will literally shout it from the roof, rooftops you'll do anything mm -hmm. so uh, that is how I started I literally did whatever I could it was literally just like to my friends anything family whoever would listen so yeah I, I did all my talks for the first year all my seminars lectures events all for free, probably for the first two years. Mm -hmm. So that's it, yeah. You know, if you want 
people to hear about it, you know, you'll get them to hear about it. Uh, so yeah, I think there are some deadly questions. Um, again, half the Q and A is on Caroline's channel. Go subscribe. It's an awesome channel, and it's so good to see, so refreshing to see someone else from Ireland killing the game, and someone that you can like make videos with, you can do photo shoots with, you can go lift with. So. Definitely go check her out. And uh, now we are going to get some food and that's gonna finish the vlog.